were you able to speak to your bandmates at the time about feeling that you know how the industry was invalidating you and how you know there were fans that weren't turning up for Mm. you I remember like having like little jokes about it sometimes I'd be like oh they don't care about me anyway and like laughing it off but like not like in-depth conversations I think sometimes I'd like like when I'd get upset I was mainly to my manager at the time um and it was always like oh but it's in your head like in like a loving way like trying to reassure me like no it's not that don't be silly like it's fine like you're amazing and bless her she just tried to lift me up but it was just never like a definite okay this is happening because of the color of your skin like this is probably why this is happening yeah. like there was no recognition of that at all at the beginning so it was just really confusing and I just put it down to me just not being good Mm. and when did someone first say or when did you first think to yourself no this is this is racism um I feel like there was a couple of moments where I didn't feel as alone and I was like okay like because it a lot of the time it felt like, because I was always away with the girls, like it was, we were always everywhere. There was never, there was, wasn't many moments that I could step away from it and evaluate it or like look at it from outside in, if that makes sense, because we was mm. always in it. Um, so I guess one of the times was when I read why I no longer talk to white people about race. When I read that book, I was like, okay, yeah, like uh, I've, this feels very like relatable here like and if you think as well back then people weren't really talking about race like Mm. they are now they just weren't and those conversations were very it's taboo the word like people just wouldn't really talk about it openly it would almost be like a like a icky sort of conversation to have um especially to what to white people who just yeah um and I remember another time as well was was Brazil, where I was singing, performing to a predominantly black crowd, and they were calling my name and they were screaming for me, and like they literally chanted my name first. And never in my life, and I travelled all around the world in that group, had I ever felt that way. Mm. I was seen, like really seen. So that was another like awakening moment for me. 